Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my IELTS channel. I'm Florina and I'm really happy to have you join me for another enriching lesson in my Academic Writing Task 2 series. In today's lesson, we're going to deal with the problem and solution essay. However, our primary focus will be on brainstorming ideas and then expanding your vocabulary related to the essay topic. Now, before we dig in, I want to emphasize the importance of both brainstorming ideas and then vocabulary expansion. And these skills are vital throughout the um, IELTS exam in speaking and in writing. And if you have a very rich vocabulary, you know exactly how to tackle the tasks in listening and reading. And as I said, the skills are very important because first of all, they will showcase your ability to generate ideas. And then you're going to tick that box from the IELTS market criteria of having a wide range of vocabulary, both in your essays and in speaking. So grab your notepads because we'll have quite a few engaging activities. And yes, you will have also to draw quite a few tables which will help you and will uh, give you the strategies to uh, boost your IELTS writing score. All right, so let's get started with a little bit of warm up. We have two questions here, and if you simply look at the questions, you figure it out that actually these questions might be in part three of the speaking test because they're not simply uh, questions such as you know, do you like cooking or uh, do you live alone or with your family they ask you a little bit of more in-depth analysis and to give arguments and support them with examples so i'm going to give you two minutes to answer these questions you can uh, either answer the questions and record yourself and then you can listen to the recording and see where you can improve or you can work with another friend and that friend or even a teacher can help you out um, to improve your speech all right so let's get started Okay, time's up. Drop your answers to the question in the comment section. And I'm really curious to see what you have answered, what uh, children do in your country during the evenings and at the weekends. All right, you are warmed up. Let's move on with the first stage of our lesson, understanding the task. Here is a question. And of course, 
after you read the writing task, you need to answer two questions below. Now, as you can see, it's easy to identify the parts of the questions, the parts of uh, the part that asks us to identify the problem and then to generate solutions. So we have the why do you think this is happening? So the reasons and what can we do to solve solution? OK, so you have two questions. This means that you need to answer both of them. If you only answer one, it means that you haven't answered the question fully and you'll be penalized under task achievement. OK, two minutes to oh, read the writing task. You can even um, underline the keywords, identify the keywords and then answer questions one and two. OK, time's up. And these are the answers. So you should include four paragraphs, just like uh, in task one, introduction, reasons in one of the paragraph solutions, and then conclusion. Or you can um, have it another way, still um, four paragraphs. So you have introduction. In paragraph two, you can introduce reason and then solution, like reason one, solution one. And in paragraph three, reason two, solution two, and then conclusion. Either way, so if you choose introduction, reasons, solutions, or if you choose introduction, reason one, solution one, reason two, solution two, and then conclusion, it's totally fine. All you have to do is to make everything clear, coherent, logical from one point to another. All right, no problem at all. OK, we're moving on to the second stage of our lesson, language and content. We said we're going to focus on brainstorming ideas and generating vocabulary and not just any vocabulary, but topic specific vocabulary and less common vocabulary. Even though we're uh, having a lesson for candidates who are aiming at band five or even band 5.5, you still need to vary your vocabulary. And even if you're having vocabulary, which is quite basic, you shouldn't use the same um, throughout the essay. And here is the activity in which you have to show off your skills of drawing tables. Now for this activities, ladies and gentlemen, we have a table in which you have to generate ideas for reasons why children play less sport, and then possible solutions. I'm going to give you three minutes for this one. It would be a very good idea to have at least two reasons and at least two possible solutions. 
all right? So think about this situation. I'm sure you have encountered the situation. Um, maybe you have cousins, maybe you have uh, younger siblings who find it difficult to spend their um, free time doing something engaging in the evenings and at the week uh, weekends. So whenever you have to generate ideas, you have to think about something like this. Is there anything I have read, I have listened to, I have watched? Um, a story that I have been told. If, is there anything that I could use from school, from work, that I could uh, put a good use in my essay? If so, give it a shot. Okay, I'll shut up. Three minutes. Okay, and here are some of the ideas I came up with. As I said, two reasons and two possible solutions. Okay, moving on. You have some notes in the previous activity. As I said, a lot of tables. So this is what we'll be dealing with um, some of the activities in this lessons. Now, what I would like you to do is to generate phrases. That's exactly the vocabulary I was telling you about. What words or phrases you can use to talk about reasons and to talk about solutions. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes for this one.
OK. So this is the language I was uh, talking about, the vocabulary. How can you introduce reasons and solutions without sounding artificial or repeating yourself? Variety is important. Moving on. On the next slide, you're going to read the model answer for the question we've been talking about, the one with children who practice less and less sport. But before we do that, I would like you to write down those four questions. OK. And then read the model answer. And as you read, you have to decide whether the model answer that you read um, is similar to what you've been thinking about. OK, three minutes for this one. Okay, how did it go? Same or different? Let me know in the comment section. Moving on, here are the answers. Yeah, but for two and three, I want to see what you mentioned, what you said. Okay, another table, but this time, what you have to do, you need to match the sentence beginning one to six with the endings A to F. Now, what I want during those two minutes for you to actually write, you just go one A to B, so on and so forth. And you also have some words for introducing reasons and solutions. Those are in bold. Are any of these words or phrases mentioned in uh, activity three? Did you mention them when you were brainstorming? So you have to multitask for this activity, but you've got two minutes for this one.
OK. And this is the correct order. I mean, the matching activity. All right. We're done with the generating ideas and vocabulary. And now we're going a little bit deeper. And this is actually your part, planning the essay. Okay, so I helped you up until here. I told you what you should be doing, how you should uh, understand the task, that there are two parts to the um, writing task, and you should answer both of the questions in order for you to get a higher score. The language that you should be using when you're talking about solutions, problems and solutions, and now you have to uh, do your own bit. Planning your essay. You have the same question. I'm going to give you five minutes, but this time I want to, to go through all stages of planning. How will you introduce a topic? Again, in your own words, paraphrasing. What are the reasons? And I would like you to think about reasons other than the ones that you've seen in this lesson. What examples will you give to support your reasons? Okay, we have reasons. How we're going to find solutions um, and what solutions will you include? And how are you going to write the essay? Five questions, one minute each. Good luck.
Ding, 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 ding. Time's up. Okay, enough with the planning. Let's get to writing your essay. Before you start writing, that will be about 30 minutes. Remember to tick off or to uh, cross out the ideas you have used in your essay. Remember to stick to a four paragraph plan. You need to write an introduction. You need to uh, give details in each of the paragraph. Start each paragraph with a topic sentence. Give examples, give arguments. Don't just leave anything hanging. And most importantly, write the conclusion, even if it's one sentence long. If you don't write the conclusion, it's like your essay is going to have like head, uh, a body, but no legs. So don't have your essay crippled. Write a conclusion. And basically, it's exactly what I told you, but this time you have it in writing. You can write this down as well if you want to, however you feel comfortable. And then after you have finished writing your essay, allow maximum 30 minutes, you should go to the final part of your um, essay, so to say, assessing and improving. And we have a final table for this one. Of course, I saved the best for last. In this table, and you have one, two, three, four, five questions. While checking your work, answer the questions about your essay. Or, better yet, ask somebody to do it for you and having these questions as a guide. And if they ask you for money, then tell them they're not friends and you can come back here and you can ask um, um, my opinion if you want to. And that will be it. Congratulations, you have completed yet another lesson. You should give another pat of your shoulder because this was another um, lengthy lesson. And um, I do hope you have found it insightful and helpful and it was easier for you to uh, understand how to deal with problem and solution um, academic writing task to questions and if you feel it was helpful please give me a thumbs up and share it with your IELTS uh, friends or not friends maybe you can share it with your enemies and you can sh tell them hey look I found something really interesting and um, hey if you're hungry for some more personalized feedback on your essays, just simply click the link in the video description and I will, can evaluate your writing against the IELTS marking criteria. Again, thank you very much for watching and joining um, this thrilling adventure. I really appreciate your help and I really appreciate whenever I see a thumbs up, even thumbs down, it means that I've done something wrong. I would really appreciate it if you could tell me what that is. And remember, if you're determined and if you keep working, you can um, get that score, band score that you need. Best of luck and I hope to see you in our next lesson. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring. Take care. Bye-bye.